We have created videos about things that are haram according to Islam. But in this video though, we are going to look specifically at foods and I'll be highlighting 10 foods that you probably didn't know were haram in Islam. How's it going guys? Welcome back to FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton if you didn't know already. And for this episode, we're going to see that some of these foods, Muslims have probably been eating them, but they just didn't know that these foods were haram. So make sure you watch this video all the way to the end so you don't miss any of these foods. Okay, so let's just jump into it. Starting at number 10, we have the food Jello. Now this is a very common dessert. Who doesn't like Jello, right? It tastes really, really, really nice, especially when it's chilled. Kids love it, especially. But here's the thing, though. It's known that Jello contains gelatin, which is a protein derived from the collagen that is found in pig bones, skin, as well as connective tissues. So this tasty little dessert isn't so halal after all. This may come as a surprise. At number nine, red candy. So red candy or strawberry flavored candy, anything red that tastes sweet pretty much in the candy category. It's often dyed with a food coloring called carmin and carmin is made from dead crushed up beetles. It's produced when these insects are boiled with sodium carbonate or ammonia which then produces the bright red dye. Therefore it's recommended that you see the ingredients list before buying. Also a thing to note, of the four major Sunni Islamic schools of thought, Hanafi schools, they forbid eating all bugs, while the Maliki scholars, they accept them, but the Shafi'i and the Hanbali academics, they completely forbid the consumption of some insects, but others, they allow. So it's haram based on the school of thought that you fall in. Next up, Japanese food. Well, if you're worried about following the halal guidelines, then it would be beneficial for you to check the ingredients of food that you're ordering in a restaurant or buying at the store, of course. Many of these Japanese foods, they use soy sauce and it contains alcohol. Other haram ingredients include mirin and this is a type of rice wine similar to sake, but it has lower alcohol content, but there's still alcohol in it. Instant fried tofu comes in at number seven. Tofu is often used as a meat substitute for vegans and vegetarians. I was vegetarian for about six years and tofu was like my staple food in the diet because tofu is a very flexible food often though Chinese brands they do sell pre-cooked frozen tofu and that tofu is fried in pork fat in order to retain its crispiness so regardless of whether you're looking for halal foods as a Muslim or if you're vegan or vegetarian looking to stay away from animal products altogether just always double check what is used to prepare your tofu number six brings us cheese fondue I'm a person where I love cheese and we can thank Switzerland for this. So traditional cheese fondue is a Swiss dish that makes use of white wine or alcohol. So with that said, it's a haram food item. All right, before we get into the last five haram foods, just a reminder that we did do a video series about haram things in Islam as well as halal things. I'll link to both of those series below in the video description section so you can check them out because like I mentioned in this video, we're just looking at food, but it extends to a whole other world of things that can fall under haram and in some cases the term halal although yes halal is used for specifically food in slang halal is used for other permissible things in islam so definitely check those ones out those links are below in the video description section moving on to number five we have spirit vinegar alcohol and products containing alcohol are just haram in islam and even if the alcohol has evaporated in the end so therefore spirit vinegar is haram however if alcohol is not used in making of the vinegar, then it is halal. So it's advised that you check the description of the ingredients before buying it, just to make sure. Marshmallows comes in at number four. Marshmallows, they are a very popular snack, and you can eat marshmallows just as they are, or you can throw them in your hot chocolate, you can roast them at a campfire and more. But again, just like jello, marshmallows contain gelatin, so they are completely haram. 
However, vegan marshmallows, they do exist, so you are in luck. You can check them out. Those are fully halal, and they're a great substitute for regular marshmallows. One of my favorite desserts comes at number three, cheesecake. Most cheesecakes contain gelatin as a firming agent to set the cheese, but you can find cheesecakes that do not contain any gelatin, though. But if you are unsure, it is recommended that you simply make it yourself, or you have somebody that's a lot more skilled than you in the kitchen make it. I'm very picky when it comes to my cheesecake, so you gotta make it right or else I'm just not eating it. Cake mix is at number two. Although they can be very affordable and tasty, some ready-made cake mixes, they actually use pork fat. So of course, make sure you check the ingredients list before buying one. And the final surprisingly haram food, salad dressing. Have you ever wondered why there are certain salad dressings that are made in-house at a restaurant and you find that they taste a little bit different than and the ones that you can buy in the store or even ones that you make at home? Well, I got the answer to that. It's because many restaurants use bacon fat in their salad dressings. So of course, when you go to a restaurant, you can ask for an ingredients list or just tell them not to put any dressing on your salad whatsoever. Another option is if you take the salad to go, I guess, you can put some olive oil over it or even just plain olives. They have a great flavor, especially when you use them as a topping for salad. So this ends our look at 10 surprisingly haram foods in Islam. I also gave you some recommendations and alternatives that actually exist. But let me know down below in the comment section, did any of these foods surprise you? Regardless if you're Muslim or not, I want to know what you thought down below. I also have those recommended videos that you can check out in the video description section. And until next time, guys, just stay awesome, stay educated. I'll see you guys real soon because we post videos daily here on FTV Facts. Later.